<laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is the start of round three of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. We are racing at home for the first time this year. It's at Brands Hatch down in Kent, which is great for us. Um, we're currently in the grandstand, one of the best views in British motorsport, this one. I have a quick pan behind me and you can see the view from here. So this weekend we're racing on the Brands Hatch Indy circuit. This is such a tight and twisty circuit. It is invaluable that you get a good qualifying position which makes Saturday, which is today, very, very important. As, like I say, it's only 1.21 miles long and it's very twisty, not many straights. So it's gonna be an interesting one. Hopefully we can continue our points scoring record. Uh, Jack so far scored points in every single race. Only three drivers have done that so far this year out of the six races, the 29 drivers. So let's go down to the paddock, and find out how the guys are getting on, ready for the day and FP1. So we're now down in the paddock of Brands Hatch. It's a very unique one, it's very small. We're gonna head into the garage now and see what the guys are getting up to, uh, ready for FP1 and check out our super, super cool setup at this event. So let's go in there. So FP1 and FP2, just all about going through the motions, getting the car ready for race day and the all important qualifying session. It was a bit of a mixed one qualifying, but we did end up with our best result so far in the Cupra with Jack ending up in P11. Jack actually matched identically the time for P10, just proving how close touring car racing is. And in fact, the top 27 or 29 cars were separated by under a second. Incredible. Qualifying day is over. It's been a really good day uh, overall. Jack getting our best qualifying of the season in P11. And a big shout out to Aiden as well, the Laser Tools crew. He ended up P5, which again is his best result in a while. I'm going to go and try and find Jamie now, uh, obviously our team manager you've seen on the vlog before. Get his thoughts. Obviously, he's the one who's poured hours of effort into building these cars. So let's go and see if I can find him. I think I know where he'll be. So it's now nearly 10 to 6. What could possibly you be doing now? Like the session, the qualifying ended nearly two hours ago. What's still to do? Yeah, what so, have you done since? Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's not back to the pub and open your bottle of Peroni. There's a lot that goes on. There's uh, re prep on the cars, the mechanics and the crew, they go through the cars completely, ready for something. That's where the show happens. So we have to make these cars work. Uh, the gearboxes, the dim, the dampers, they all come off, they all get checked. That's what it does. So, currently in there doing some damper work, um, which I'm ready for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it says a lot that goes on behind the scenes and I feel that we should show the people what we do behind the scenes a bit more and people can understand what these guys do. I mean, we're here sort of 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night for a reason because we want to win, we want to push on and that's what we want. We don't just want to go home, we want to progress as a team and that's what it's all about is understanding why we didn't get that team why we're not quite putting a straight line and putting those things together and it's, we've got a great engineering team in there and that's what we're trying to do. Perfect, so on that note, it is time for us to get a Peroni, we're done. <laughs> so good luck and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow guys. <laughs> so I was actually joking about going for the Peroni, but we are actually leaving the circuit now, it's 7.30, the reports are done from our side. Zoe's been busy typing away, uh, ready for a big day tomorrow, hopefully we can skip the uh, inevitable lap one, race one, carnage that is Brands Hat Indy. So we'll catch up with you in the morning. <laughs> Sunday morning, Brands Hatch race day. Aaron Taylor-Smith didn't have the qualifying session you hoped for. Nope. But the heavens have just yep. opened. We've got what, two hours into the first race. Yep. What's the way we're gonna do for your day? 
I think it might be wet pretty much all day, so that's pretty good. The car, yesterday we didn't have the qualifying, we had great pace and free practice, so the race pace will be good. It's very easy to make a good car, a car that's good in the dry, good in the wet. So we kind of know what we're doing, really. Um, so I think actually, it'll make it a bit more exciting. Like I thought, the race in the was a bit kind of just the train, with not all that much going on. So I feel this will be a lot more of a spectacle to watch. Awesome. And obviously we're, we're walking. Yep. Where are we going? I don't know. No. <laughs> we're going to go to uh, the Quick Fit Live Q and A's. So we're just going up to the Toka bus and catch up with folks from Quick Fit and some of the questions that people have sent in. Race one, over. Glyn, Aaron, not the best of starts, I'd probably say, but how did you think your race has gone so far? I'm also really looking forward to in race two. Yeah, you're right, not the best of starts. I mean, I think um, the first race was get off the line, get into position, start pushing, try and overtake him. We had a decent enough start, it was behind Aaron for a bit, and felt like we had a few laps that we could do something, but then suddenly just fell off a cliff, and then really struggled the whole race. After that, so I don't know how you felt the car, but yeah, like, race one's always good for you. You don't want to be too optimistic. So it was a little bit boring in that regard, and I was kind of just stuck between uh, Morgan's BMW in front of me, children's BMW behind me, and then just drove by and started for like 22 laps. I had one run at Morgan, and it didn't make it, and then it was just kind of like, that was it. Like, it's, one more, but I didn't feel it was a complete disaster. And now that it's spinning rain, yeah. I think that will play into our favour quite a bit. Just because people will fall off a cliff. Uh, yeah. And I don't think we will. So it's not it's not not the worst one. No, no, I think um our well, from my only opportunity to get through the field is if it rains, so mm. I'm looking forward to more rain coming and hopefully the race two is wet and we can push forward. Yeah.
you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. We know we've got a very good race car underneath us, very strong pace. Um, a bit of traffic in the last race. Um, we were behind Maven for a big chunk of the race. He picked up a little bit of damage at the start. And obviously, speaking, it's, it's hard to work together to move forward when you're, when you're limping, so to speak. So we know we've got good race pace. Aaron, Glyn, Jack, they, they all have to the same, the same time, which is top 10 pace. So the first grid, front row start, we know we've got the pace. Have we got the luck? Can we still be there after lap two, lap three, and then go on from there? Let's see how we go. Podium, Aidan Moffat. Congratulations, Ash Holmes down there cheering away, and Aidan makes his way up towards the third step of the podium. Welcome back. It's been a while, and his back on the podium is Aidan Moffat. Well done. Congratulations. Just hop down to ground level by the podium step. Thank you, Aidan, to make way for second place. This is going to be a big cheer. You just know it. Jack Goff. So bright, direct, and Jack Goff is back on the podium here at Van Tatch. This the trophy and stands by the second step of the podium. And another welcome return to the podium. And three bottles of bubbly. Who's first? Jack Goff is first. Adam Moffat is second. Adam Morgan is third. And a wonderful moment. Celebrated by the crowd here at Brands Hatch, who today, everybody, have been fantastic. Thank you very much indeed, everyone. And as they all chink bottles, we'll have one final. It's been brilliant having you here, and um, hope to see you here at Brands Hatch yeah, for a future British yeah. yeah. Touring Car meeting in the not too distant future. Uh, from Alan Hyde and Lee Smartly, thanks for listening. Can't really share that, can we? I'm hoping you throw it on Jamie. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Got him. <laughs> the real boy. Yeah, you got you? Mate, congratulations. First podium since. 2019 in the rain in the rain seems to be a, a common thing and we always seem to get the podium when the podium truck on the well, it's not right now it's gone but when the podium truck's yeah. on the track so it adds like another element to me because obviously it's nice to have spectators back and to get that sort of spectator feel a bit of cheer yeah. you know it's it's what's been missing i think for the last like year or so and the good thing is that race okay it's raining now as you can see by my hair it's absolutely great. i'm not sure if mine's sweat champagne or that's right. it, exactly. So it's a nice combo. But the race itself was pretty much bone dry the entire time. So we're there on merit. We're yeah. there with a new car at the front. Yeah. We're sitting fifth in the Independence Championship now. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but we're in such a good place compared to previous seasons. Oh, and, yeah. You know, definitely. It's such a good buzz around the team now, isn't there? Well, hopefully, you know, doing this at our, our home track. Um, you know, probably before we all expected it, if we're turning on this, before I expected to get the podium. Yeah. And like you say, we've done it on pace, on merit, because all the races at Snetterton, the previous round, we were in the top five or six in race pace. We just don't seem to be able to unlock that one lap pace in qualifying. Yesterday we were P11, you know, that gave ourselves an opportunity there to just chip away at it throughout the day. Obviously our target the last, the last two weekends has always been get yourself in that reverse grid draw, which we've done. And then it quite, hasn't quite come off, you know, number 10's been pulled out and we've been number 11 or something. But today, home advantage maybe. There we they go. They pulled the right number out, or almost the right number. And um, yeah, we just got our head down. And once we got past Aiden, we could sort of just focus on doing sort of quality laps yeah. and uh, try and get that little gap from behind. 
It's a shame that we've actually got about a five week break now before the next event. We kind of want the next one to be next week, obviously on a bit of a buzz. I was gonna say, it depends how much of a hangover you've got in the morning, though. Yeah, that's so, true. You know, there's always that. I'm actually going to work tomorrow morning, so I'm having a drink. You might have one tonight, but. When I get to the hotel, maybe I'll have one, but you know, that, yes, it's a bit of a negative that we're not going straight into the next event, but at the same time, we've got the tire test, the Goodyear yep. tire test, and we know where our weaknesses are, um, so we can really focus on them. And if we can improve our quality performance and get into the top six, probably in qualifying, we should be battling for podiums it more often than not. So we'll see. And that's all we can ask for. Well, yeah, we can ask for wins probably, but true. Next time. We'll take second for now. We'll take second for now. now. So that's it for this version of the vlog. Oh, like I say, it's going to be about a five week break now for the next one. You're going somewhere nice. Um, I'm going to Alton Park. Going to Alton Park? For the tyre test. Nice, nice. We've got the TCT GT car and all sorts going on so obviously we'll still be very very busy as always. Hard is always as always the busiest team in the country uh, so look forward to catching you all then make sure you like and subscribe oh yeah that's all below isn't it yeah down here somewhere like and subscribe comment say congratulations to our man jack here and we'll see you in the next video see you on the other side